just sat in a fucking chair and acted like you were reacting for the first time to make one joke that you barely delivered. He's mad that those people aren't subbing to him? Yeah, I know. Maybe he is just like a sneak -a wannabe. His one message on Pokimane's chat is please date me. That's funny. <laughs> so I got exposed again by another big streamer and this time when I found out, I wasn't even sad. I, I was actually pissed. Hassan Abai reacts to Twitch streamers must be stopped? Yo, wait, that's my video. 46,000 views in a day? Wait, hold up. How many does mine have? Wait, mine has only 9,000 in six days? And his is... What? What the hell? But yeah, I mean, all his fans came to hit on me, and I mean, let's just react to the video, man. Your streamers must be stopped. Right, let's talk about this. What? <laughs> this is obviously a new content creator, but I kind of like it. See, okay. Oh. Okay, see, it's already infinite times amount better than that Peter Park guy. At least he went past the first like 10 seconds of the video, right? Oh, uh, because I know who it is. Do you want me to say it for you? Pokemon. <laughs> what the f oh, no, you mean like these guys are 30, bro? What do you act like they're in, a, in like middle school? Like, um, as he so I actually feel bad, like, cause like he's happy and stuff and he's laughing, and then I'm just like cooking them. And it, I'm, I'm actually starting to feel bad for you know making fun of these guys, but again, they're millionaires, so who cares? Come put your mouth on these nuts! Come put your mouth on these nuts! I got her! I got Yes! Yes! Kick his ass. 27 years old, making these jokes. Fucking got him, but also, you know, honestly, yeah, you're right. Hey. Hey, okay, okay. Bro. <laughs> okay, drag is timeless, okay? And it's ageless. Being 31 years of age does not stop me from living my best self. Honestly, you know, he's not, you know, he's not wrong, you know, in 10 years when I'm 30 years old, um, I would probably still, um, not do this. <laughs> Who knows, you know, maybe, maybe when I'm 30, I'll have like a midlife crisis or something and, you know, start like shoving balloons down my shirt and like bounce them around. Also, I slayed that, okay? I slayed that. So this guy says, little bro has never been to a party before. So I guess, I guess I've just been missing out this whole time. I guess this is really what goes down at a party. Dude, I, I just hate his chat, bro. Somebody just pisses me off about his chat. Like, look, so, oh, so he's an incel? How? How, how do you even, how do you even get that? I just, I don't know, just out of thin air. I'm Scuffed rice gum, the streamers must be stopped. I mean, he's just, we don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Calm down. Respect, okay. see, see? This is I like how, you know, he's just not, he's not crying like a little baby like that Peter Park guy, you know? He's actually watching a video and actually, you know, laughing. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Mogul Chess Boxing Championship <sighs> presented by Fansly. What does chess boxing have to do with fans? The idea that, like, a sponsor is supposed to be, like, related to the content is so fucking stupid it's like what okay that, that wasn't even what i was trying to say like bro it was just funny man i think this guy argues for a living right so he probably you know thinks a lot about like the argument is up bro it was just funny what the heck does foot budweiser have to do with football because you drink it at a bar like while you're watching the game what, what are you gonna do you're gonna jerk off your schlong while you're watching these guys box like has this person just never watched a sporting event or just an event in general before? Yeah, I have, and none of them have OnlyFans plastered all over the place. Wait, I don't get it. So first he gets mad when streamers are doing bottom of the barrel content, but then he gets mad when streamers are doing like high effort content too. Well, I'm, I'm not even mad. What? It's not like I'm discrediting the whole event, like the chess boxing by just the sponsor. You know, I just found it funny, man. Like, so I was thinking, right? You know, why does Fancy sponsor all these Twitch events? You know, if there's no correlation. What did they gain out of it? And then, and it just clicked, right? Everybody on Twitch who watched Twitch type and child, they are just losers. Slimy, grimy losers, right? Like, come on, who's genuinely watching this? I mean, he is definitely. Perfect option. Yeah, yeah, I definitely watch these guys. That's why I'm making fun of them. Like, because all they do, anyways, is jerk off their schmalangling all day. So, but come on, you can't tell me it's not true, though. If you genuinely sit on your chair and like type these emotes, you, you are a loser, right? But, you know, I'm a loser too. I sit down making YouTube videos, but you are definitely more of a loser. So, another freaking geeking stupid thing, okay, are these subathons, all right? And to be fair, I don't like subathons either, unless it's like for a good cause or something, if you're like raising funds. Anything is better than spending money on this. This is a, you're paying to look at a black screen.
Okay, here's what I will say. First of all, it's over eight hours to 10 hours of content, sometimes 24 hours of content. Content, right? Partially, some of the stuff that he criticized, like drag or big events, where uh, he was like saying, like, big events, they're all sponsored by Fansly. What the fuck? This sucks. Well, okay. Once again, I did not say that. I, you're trying to piss me off. <laughs> you can literally direct the argument and many people used to back in the day towards what he's doing on YouTube as well. Back in the day in Hollywood, people were like, you know, they were on crew, they, they had a set, they were on- Wow, wow, wow. Like this guy like talks like I didn't know that or like, I, I don't know why he's even like, he's going on rant now, but like even objectively speaking, bro, you, can, you cannot be defending this black screen. Like objectively, bro, like this is just not okay. What did you do? You just sat in a fucking chair and acted like you were reacting for the first time and did like 11 takes to make one joke that you barely delivered. Uh, All right, well, why, why is this guy cooking me now? What did I do? You, you can basically criticize everything, including the kind of content that he's doing, which is why I'm going to uh, not do that and instead let him cook. Let's see. Well, you just, you just did, you just did. So what, what are you talking about? You just did, man. Asshole, man. I like how he made fun of Mouse. Uh, I'm guessing that's a, the VR person, but he didn't even give credit to her for being number one woman streamer of all time. See, like, how am I supposed to know if that person is a he or a she? Because, I mean, you really never know these days, man. But, like, there is no negative consequences of it, which is why he just kind of hangs it there. He just says, like, it sucks, it's lazy, and then that's it. There's no yeah, it sucks and is lazy. That's why I'm making a video on it. Like, this guy's stupid. For the record, this is why he's mad that those people aren't subbing to him. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. This guy's starting to piss me off now, man. Oh, he's just mad. Omega lol. Like, shut up. You guys are. Oh. These Twitch viewers are getting way too comfortable. All right, talking online. All right, because if I see them in real life, man, it's just. Bro, you can sub to this guy and all his friends. I don't care, bro. I don't, I'm just calling them cringe, right? Sub to them if they're, if they're entertaining. I'm mad that people are subbing to, to, oh, give me 500 subs and I'll eat some fruits. This is what I was saying. Like, it's 10 hours of content, so of course there's going to be, it's not like piffy editing. But yeah, over 10 hours of content, you can very easily show like a three second where I wasn't. Yeah, okay, he is right, but he is right on that. But you, you cannot tell me that. I can't blame people who are just straight up watching anime or like TV shows for six hours straight and, and while they're getting paid for it. Surely this guy's content isn't just shitting on Twitch streamers. Oh, oh, maybe he was. Maybe he is just like a sneaker wannabe. I'm a sneaker wannabe because I react to like cringe people. Like how, there's like an infinite amount of videos on the internet of people calling things cringe. How does me calling Twitch viewers, Twitch streamers cringe make me a sneako clone? How am I sneak Mother sucker looking like, do I? <laughs> but I do agree. I think Twitch streaming is the bottom of the barrel. We are, we are in the muck. We make, Low effort content for the most part. His one message on Pokimane's chat is please date me. What? They're talking about. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh my god, it's over. Oh my god. Who snitched? In front of 40,000 people, man. Why would you show that? Yeah. My life is over. My life is over. Oh my god, everyone's laughing. Oh my god. <laughs> and seriously though, I'm pretty sure I did this like on stream like back in like 2020 as like a funny joke. Now I have, everyone's gonna be like, oh you're cat bro. I swear to god I didn't actually <laughs> Bro, there's no way, bro. He was watching last Saturday, check his logs. I, dude, these guys know everything, bro. How do these guys like find out like these things so fast? How did they know I was watching last Saturday specifically? How do you even check that? He has not chatted in my chat. I guess I'm not dateable like Pokimane is. Oh, he did the chair thing. Oh, he did the chair is thing it? too. Is this how you make? Is this how you make millions and millions of dollars? Yeah, I mean, this is just jealousy. Yeah. 
Yeah, no shit. Bro, of course I'm jealous, man. Who wouldn't be? You you guys are making millions of dollars by doing bottom of the barrel of content creation or whatever. Of course I'm gonna be jealous, bro. But like, I didn't make the video out of just pure jealousy. I, I made the video because I thought it was funny, entertaining, and I thought it was original, and I thought it would just do good. That's why I made the video. Oh my gosh, she's so cozy, guys. Look at her, she's all comfy. Of course, yeah, oh, yeah. Of course you want to be cozy when you're when you're working, right guys? <laughs> so she why, just sat. why are people like question marking? Like that was genuinely like a good point. Like she just sat there for six hours, 30 minutes, blanketed up watching a master chef while people subscribe. Like like this that just not just like sound like all like the craziest thing. Like drive through yeah. here, here, as a content creator in this space, I will give give advice to young up and comers. If you try to build a community on toxicity, on like takedowns and whatever, you will create a super toxic audience that isn't there for you. I hope he changes his ways, I guess, and is no longer uh, doing this kind of content because, like, it won't be sustainable in the long run. I mean, I, I guess he's right. I was really kind of mean in my video. You know, like, these Twitch chatters, they're not losers. They're not freaking losers. Um, so he's a cool guy. Like, I genuinely mean he's a cool guy. And so he's right. You know what? From now on, I'm just going to stop making these videos. Like, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm going to stop make, making fun of, like, people in general. Like, this is All right, real quick, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more content. Okay, and also follow my socials, all right? They're all in the description, but I mean, that's it.